guys, good morning. We are going to run some errands and then I'm gonna drop her out at her job as soon as she put her seatbelt on because she keeps disrespecting my car. This is why she don't need no car right now. Bruh. Until she learned how Bruh, to put I put my seatbelt on in the driver's seat. In the passenger seat too. I be trying to instill that in you. Well, when I'm driving. Your sisters wasn't in no passenger seat when they died. I mean, no driver's seat. They was in the passenger seat. No. I don't want that phone call. When I'm driving, I have my seatbelt. Well, put it on in the passenger too, please. Mm -hmm. I don't want that phone call. Okay. I don't want it. I, I, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's the worst phone call a mother could have. I don't want it. Because you got to think about it. When somebody hits you, thank God TT had her kids and uh, seatbelts. Somebody hitting you from behind going 50, 60 miles an hour with that impact and you alone gonna, can take you out. I don't want it. I don't know what y'all doing. But it ain't driving. Man, you gonna go look at them houses. Probably tomorrow when I get out of church if they open. They gonna charge a warm in the Huh? They gonna charge you a warm in the Oh, we just going to look. Mm. <laughs> I'm happy with my... You know, I get inspiration from the decoration. I'm happy with my house. I, I, like, I was telling uh, Ray, I said the only reason the house is getting too small is because we're putting too much stuff in it. Stop putting stuff in it, you ain't got to worry about it feeling smooth. We got everything we need now. I'm still in my little cave. Thank God for that microwave. Microwave out here saving lives. Yeah, uh, I, I need to get to something where I can put some. Because you ain't got no cash, huh? No, we don't carry cash. I need to get go somewhere where I can pull some cash off of something. Off of ATM. I don't want to go to one of them little rinky-dinky ATMs. Because I don't want them charging me no $3, $4 thing. I might just have to wait and then on my way home stop and get pick up my pants. Because it's a frost bank over there where we going. Y'all, we ain't done a car vlog. I ain't done a car vlog. A car, a, a, a car vlog, car vlog with the tripod pie sitting there and me ain't having to hold it in a long, 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 long time. It's been two years. Hold it. You be holding your phone? Yeah. I had to, because you know, babe don't have no tripod in his car, so I would hold the camera. Oh, uh, about to say, what the heck? I ain't got to do that no more. Now, I do need to order a. Uh, one of them the smaller handheld tripods because the one I have I don't like and when you go into stores and stuff you don't I don't like to carry that big bulky thing I like something slim and to the point so that is gonna be my next purchase I'm gonna order my treadmill and I'm gonna order a tripod thing what's on eczema oh yeah I'm looking at it what you used aquaphor I don't really do much that's a little help more We'll start using Vaseline now. Also, that, that uh, lotion that I have, I'm telling you, it worked miracles. Uh, use it one day, the one I got in the uh, office. Use it one day and tell me what it do, how your skin feel. It works wonders. It's gonna take months to get rid of this eczema. Yeah. Like alligator skin. You might uh, have your have to ask your doctor to just, uh, give you a. Uh, I did. They, they useless. If you see this, you're useless. They're so useless. You ask, I'm you ask for a referral, Bruh, I didn't went to the doctor twice, telling them, "Hey, do you have anything that can help me with my?" No, ex? they don't have anything. Tell them when you go to the doctor. Tell them you need a referral to the dermatologist because of your eczema. The dermatologist, your doctor, yes, yeah, she can help you with skin issues, but she don't. That's not really her thing. You want a dermatologist because they specialize in skin. So when you, your next doctor's visit, when you go, tell them can they refer you to a dermatologist? You you want the dermatologist in Smith Clinic, which is down the street from the house, off of Almeda, not this Almeda, but the other Almeda. 
But you that's the one you want. You want the one in Smith Clinic. Cause um that's I, I just, like my doctor can't help me with this. They keep telling me lotion, lotion, lotion. It don't work. They don't want to do lotion. It is, you have to have a certain type of lotion. But my doctor can't help me with this because she don't understand this. But that's why they referred me to a dermatologist because it's dealing with my skin. This is dealing with my skin. Like, my dermatologist is going to put injections in my face. Much as I love my doctor, because Lord knows I love my, my doctor, baby. I, I don't want her to check <laughs> I'll get some breakfast first. Um, I didn't. I just threw on my little work week because I my hair for the week gotta be. I'm. I got so much stuff to do today. I gotta go stop by the beauty supply. I gotta dye my hair. I gotta do my nails. I gotta get my hair ready for the week, and that's gonna be a process because it has to be. It already been shampooed and washed, but it has to be flat ironed. I think I'm gonna put a couple of little barrel curls in it, so it has to go through a process. So I was like, let me just start my work week. Week I've been wearing all week because I'm just running a few errands. So that's what I did. But I gotta do that. Uh, I need to stop by the bank. We're going to brunch. I need to uh, stop by Ross or Marshalls. Probably Ross. Yeah, probably Ross. And I need to get some. Probably Ross or Marshalls. I need to get some black velvet hangers. I could have ordered them on Amazon, but I didn't want to. Um, and I need to uh, stop by the Taylor's and get my pants. I should put the pants in for me. Some cargo. Wiley pants. And my husband was like, why you just don't buy some up? Because I want my pants. Like, every pair of jeans I own was hand-picked. I love my jeans. I don't want to get rid of my jeans. The only thing is my waist and got smaller. So stuff ain't fitting. Like it was fitting. So they need to be taken in. Because your girl been trying. I went from 217 my weight lately been fluctuating from 204 to 207. But I went from 217 to 2. When I weighed today, it was 207.6. My goal is to get to 200. Once I drop to 200, then my goal is to get to 180. I'm scared of the 180, but I want to see what 180, a healthy 180 look like on me. And my husband has decided, my husband has done me the honor of making our home grudge a gym. Uh, my husband told me to take some pork chops out so when he got off the work he could cook. And before y'all say something, <laughs> I know y'all about to say, girl, he at work, why you can't cook? My husband, not. he's a better cook in that house. Everybody know my husband a better cook. I'm not cooking. His cooking is intimidating. I'm not getting in that kitchen. Only thing I'm going to get in that kitchen to do is fry some fish and do some dishes. I'm not cooking. So that's why I make sure I do the household chores. Because he the, cook, he the cook of the house. Like, everybody in the house loves my husband cooking. So no, that's why I'm not cooking. And we don't have gender roles in this house. Everybody play their part. Everybody do their thing. Right now, my husband, my son is in there mopping and straightening up the living room. We have no gender roles in this household. So... But yeah, I brought this one with me because I want to spend a little time with him. I ain't spent no time, one on one time in a while. So I can't no sleep. So, this girl sleep enough. Bro, I've been working the morning shift. This girl sleep when I get off of work. Day. When I get off, bam, Javon. So, I don't get no sleep before I get to work. And I get off of work just when I'm thinking about to take a nap. Bam, Javon. No. And that was bam, you this morning when I thought, finally, yes, I worked the evening shift. I'm finna get some sleep. Bam, you. Y'all wanna spend time with your mama? I'm here now. <laughs> Y'all wanna spend time with your mama? I'm here now. And tomorrow I work an eight hour shift. I'm gonna work all day. From open to closing, I'm gonna be at work. 
Welcome to adulthood. When you people work eight hour shifts and come home and still got more work to do. Welcome to adulthood that when you just when you think you off, you not off because there's still more work to be done. I'm letting my sleep out the window. You are a function member of society. Welcome. We welcome you into this community that we have. I gave up hope on sleep. Is yeah, Frost over know. here or Frost over there? I think Frost is the next. I just need to get the Frost back. And then we could go right there. I feel like I'm a different breed though. I'm not a nice person when I'm just sleep. You're nice to be. You know, when I'm getting fed. Ain't this? You know, I ain't been waking up on my sleep with no food. I mean, you be a little grumpy, but you're not me. You be, I mean, you had a little ugly uh chihuahua look on your face, but I mean, you know, you don't be mean. You just be, be looking angry. out. You be looking like a little trout. Where is the frost bank? Oh, there it is. God knows, it's over here. I just didn't know where is it. There's so many banks over here. Personal, that's what I need. Give, give me my money. Bruh. <laughs> <Give> my... <laughs> you just call the air, gonna make me sleep. Turn else. it down. How do you work this fancy car? Um, right here. Turn it down. And if it's blowing too much, there you go. Give me my money. My first time actually going to this bank. How do you know Frost? Huh? How do you know they're gonna charge you? Oh no, because this is my bank. This, but this is my first time actually pulling up to. Oh, <laughs> bro. Got some money up in there for me? You need to mind your business. God don't want you in my business like that. My bad. See, he asked me extra dollars. God don't want you in my business. You got no spirit, God don't want you in my business like that, man. Oh, I forgot they pin is a is a six digit pin. Mm -hmm. They don't have a four digit pin. It's six. Six is crazy. Girl, you know how many times this card that got locked? Cause I'm trying to put a six digit pin in here. Ooh! I mean a four digit pin. Bruh. And I had to call them and beg them to unlock my you put, you put money in there? Uh-uh, I took money out. Where the money go? In my pocket. Put that money up fast. Girl, quick. Where the money at? What about them coins? <laughs> Thought you were going to see something. Not my else <laughs> <laughs> you ain't about to see nothing. You ain't about to see nothing. <laughs> I told you to mind your business. <laughs> I'm trying to see where the money is. <laughs> I, told, I was very clear about the importance of you minding your business. Okay, how do I? Because I want to get behind them. I gotta, I gotta get a cargo thing for the, this trunk. Because I my stuff be sliding when I'm turning. And I just need to, um. Oh, yeah. Is, is this a straight lane? Because why they didn't go? What the hell? He just sent himself here. Where are you supposed to be turning to? Huh? Where are you supposed to be turning to? Oh. I should have stayed right there. Because now I need to turn. I'm finna turn with them. Hold on, girl. Yeah, my man's an illegal driver. See that all that illegality going on? I'm not a witness. Crazy 
Crazy crab would have been good when your daddy took us out to eat, but I wasn't. I ain't want to. I ain't had. I did not want to deshell no crabs. Mm -hmm. I just. I wasn't in the mood to deshell. I just thing. wanted that that flavor. I know you did. I wanted that flavor. But then I looked at Javon's face, and he had that. Please don't make me go to crab to crab look. And then when his little ears perked up when we said something about uh Longhorn. That's his favorite spot. I said, okay, Longhorn is a good, <laughs> good, good, good bit, safe bit for him. At least I know what Longhorn he gonna eat. Cause that little bird don't be wanting to eat, child. Mm -hmm. All he want is watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy, bro. That's all he be wanting is watermelon. One of them people looked at me the other day. He say, I can't uh I can't see the backup camera. I was like, baby, you can't drive if if you need a backup camera to park. Who said what? One of the uh one of my vendors that was coming to the building, he was parked all wrong. And I was like, uh-uh, fix it, Jesus. He said, but I can't, I, it was too dark. I couldn't see the backup camera. I said, you're too old for that. You shouldn't need no backup camera, baby. This is driving one-on-one. -on -one. You should be able to do this like a pro. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the backup camera. Why? I'm, I'm wanna see the outside. Yeah, I like to look in my mirrors and look between the lines to make sure I'm I ain't gonna be able to follow the lines and Okay, y'all, we finna go in. As soon as we get in, I'll show y'all the food. That's yes, thank you. Okay, so we made it into the place. The menu looks really, really good. Um, I think I'm gonna get the AM breakfast and I'm gonna get some fried potatoes with it. Uh, I just think she's gonna get the full house breakfast. So, this is what I'm trying to decide. So, it's like full house breakfast. Okay. So, yeah, I got a watermelon mint margarita. It ain't that strong. It's more watermelon than anything. Oh, I think it tastes nice to you. I don't know. Yeah. She ordered um, a full house breakfast, but she substituted her pancakes for strawberry fish toast. And I just got an AM breakfast. She said no bananas, no chocolate. I eat your So this is the drink being you. And that's the back of it. For the most part, they have a really good menu. It's something for everybody. I'm definitely gonna bring my husband here because I know it's something that he'll like. But yeah, it's definitely something for everybody. The food, it smells good in here too. So I can't wait to see how the food tastes and if it's really given what it's supposed to be given. So as soon as we know, we'll be back. Okay, y'all, the food came, so I'm gonna show y'all the food real quick. I'm gonna eat my food. Hold up. Okay guys, so I just dropped Audrey off. As y'all seen, we went to brunch. And then we went to Ross. I got um some decor out of some fall decor from Ross. Just because I wasn't gonna do it, but my husband was complaining about my little pumpkins because they had glitter on them and the glitter was getting everywhere. So he sent me six minutes talking about we need to talk, and I'm like, talk about what? And he like those pumpkins. So I was like, okay, let me go get something else. And I needed some fall decor for our dining room table. So my daughter picked out a cute little pumpkin for the table. Um, so now I dropped her off at work. So now I'm on my way home because my son is gonna wash my car. And I am gonna take my hair down and dye it. And then I'm going to plait it back up. And then possibly do my nails today. If I don't do my nails today, I'm gonna do them tomorrow. But I really wanna get everything done today. I'm gonna go put another load of clothes. Get a wash too. 
because I need to finish washing. But it's hot out here, y'all. It's 94 degrees. So, but yeah, I just wanted to take my daughter out to brunch because I wanted to let her know that she was doing a good job. She didn't bring a thing. I asked for a thing. Yes. Thank you, please. But, um, yeah, so I, what if I picked up? Oh, I picked up some hair serum, some thermal heat protectant for the um, hair. Because I be putting, like, I be styling my hair with flat irons. So I be needing it. Thank you. You have a good day. So, yeah. Because I can put them in my little things right here. But I don't want to. Let me just put my purse. That's what I'm driving crazy. I got my little slush. Since he cleaning up my car. I mean, since he washing my car for me. So, I decided to do that. Let me see something. Let me see it in a second. Let me get out of this driveway. But yeah, today I am tired. I have spent. Uh, let me tell y'all something. Every time you leave to go outside, it costs. Because I know for sure I just spent $200 in four hours. So yeah, it's time for me to go to the house. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm tired. $200 just that fast. It costs to be in this world. <laughs> but my daughter deserved that brunch and she deserved that one on one time because she has really done a 360 with not, not even just being more responsible because she is saving for a car and my baby girl is doing amazing. She almost got everything she needs to purchase her first car. But um, also, she, um, She's become more about family and more about helping around the household. She understands that we're not against her. You know, because at first when she was, you know, when she was growing into a teenager and becoming, going into adulthood, because if y'all don't know, my daughter's 20. I, you can tell Audrey that then. Audrey knew what she knew and she said what she said. Point blank, period. And I had to, as much as it hurt it, and it hurt it. I had to sit down and let her bump her head and figure it out. Because sometimes you got to F around and find out. And that's real talk. And that's what I had to let her do for herself. But once I let her do that, as much as it hurted me to watch her, because it was plenty of times I wanted to come save my child. Once I did that and showed her, you can either work with, you can either be a part of this family or, or not. It's, per, it's a personal choice. And you can either have that support system there that has your bank that's looking out for you, that's making sure you good, or not. Because, once again, it's a personal choice. And when she seen that as a fam we're stronger as a family unit, and that we take care of each other, then her attitude and her disposition changed. And she's really done a, she's really done a lot of growing. Um, She's more financially smart. Like, I, my baby got willpower. Do you understand me? Because we went in that stuff. And she was like, I'm not going to let you tempt me. I did buy me some shoes. But she, <laughs> along with the decor. But she was like, I'm not going to let you tempt me. You, now you're not going to tempt me. And she did really good. Um, but she's, she's financially smarter and wiser. Um, and she's more responsible. And she's made that decision that hey I do want to be out on my own but I know I'm not ready and I'm not leaving until I have my ducks in a row and that's how I want it to be don't don't leave the nest till you 100% ready because I don't want you to have to come back you can come back if you need to come back but I really don't want you to have to come back like my oldest he done had to come back because life done started life and um I just want all my children to be prepared before they get out here because it's not a game. So I'm letting we letting her take as much time as she needs. Like her dad told her, you can stay here till you're 25 if you need to. If that's what it's gonna take for you to get your stuff together, 
and get where you need to be so you won't have to come back and do what you need to do. So she is doing what needs to be done. I was going for it, y'all. You didn't see that. Because, baby, they were going over in parallel. <sighs> so, yeah, that's what it is right now. I am on my way home. I'm tired. But stuff still need to be done. And I'm not going to rest until it's done. I need to call my cousin and see if she's going to church tomorrow. Because if she is, I'm going to ride with her. Because I'm on a half a tank of gas. And all next week, I will be taking myself to work. Except Friday. Because um, I have a 15 hour shift. 16 hour shift. So, my husband's going to pick me up and drop me out. Because he's off on Friday. So, but I got to fill my tank back up. Because when it gets to a half a tank, I fill my car up. I don't play that. And I only put premium gas in my car. So, um, this was a week. I made it a whole week and we only had, we just on a half a tank. So what they tell you, if I don't fill this car up, this car will make it two weeks. But just on, um, just one week I've made it on, it's just not getting to a half a tank. So my car is very, very good on gas. So I am going to get up out of here until I get to the house and then I will be so I will see you guys in a video. Peace. Okay guys, I am tired. I finished my nails. I'm about to put my last load in the dryer. Well, my last load for the night in the dryer. These are my nails. I didn't really like them. They didn't come out like I envisioned them to come out. But these are my nails for the next two weeks, child. Two, three weeks probably. Cause I ain't doing them again. And I gotta find something to wear to church tomorrow. And I have no idea what I'm gonna wear to church. And I gotta find something to... Yeah, I got so much stuff to do. I gotta find something to wear to church. And I gotta find... Oh no. It's going to have to be something quick and easy. It might be my little whoop de -woo I don't already wore before. That's what it might be. And I might style it with... Um, I might style it with some pants. I was going to... Uh, I was going to go with my cousin now. Because she's going to go get her nails done and stuff. But... I need to come back and cook, finish washing, get my stuff together for work for the week. I got too much stuff to do, so I can't hang. So, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm probably going to end this vlog because I'm tired. Um, I'll probably be back tomorrow. I think the most we got was us and brunch and the car vlog. But, yeah. I'm tired. Oh. Catch you guys in the next one. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, have fun planning it all out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.